What's up guys and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We've got some more landing challenges today, but this time they're very realistic. We're not trying to land next to the Acropolis or on a helipad in Dubai, which we've got some more of those coming soon. But uh, these are more routine, realistic situations where you have some sort of an issue, some sort of a, a Mayday problem. These are the Mayday challenges. So in this first one, we're on a routine sightseeing flight in a Cessna 172, and it turns into a nightmare in a matter of seconds. For an unknown reason, the engine terminated service. You're in a mountainous area with no chance of returning to the airport, and with three other lives on board, you have no other choice but the foothill meadow in front of you. All right, so we're in a little little Cessna, little lawnmower of the sky, just, you know, having a nice little, it looks like France, uh, you know, sightseeing tour. And the engine goes out. We're going to have to land here in this field. Honestly, pretty good looking runway. I, I, this couldn't have happened in a better spot, so we'll see what happens. Oh, we are getting right into it. So we, we just barely made it over this this mountain crest here got very lucky if we were coming up on the front side of this mountain i think this would be a a different situation here but um scanning the area looking for for open flat places to land obviously a, a road wouldn't be a bad idea we want to stay away from the houses stay away from trees most importantly stay away from power lines that's one of your your biggest enemies here so we're going to go ahead and Set our flaps. We're going to flare out here. We're going to try to lose some of this airspeed. We're going to try to set her down right in this uh, this field here. No control of our engine at all. So we're just working with the airspeed that we currently have. And we're going to see if we can set her down lightly. Ooh. Beautiful. Bit, bit of a hard landing. Bit of a, bit of a jolt to the system. But hey, we got it done. As long as we're down safely, that's that's what really matters. Honestly, we had a lot of airspeed there. I, I I wanted to. We probably could have, you know, flared a little bit harder, set the flaps a little bit, you know, more aggressively. But we got to be. If everyone survived, everyone survived. That's what counts. Smoothness actually wasn't that bad. Our, our worst was the ground roll. I'm not sure what ground roll is. An aircraft service company received a G36 Bonanza from a customer. The customer complains about uneven extension of the flaps. On the ground check, you didn't notice anything suspicious, so you decided to take it up in the air for more testing. During the final, you found out it wasn't the best idea. So it sounds like we're gonna be losing our flaps here, which is an issue. Sedona, Arizona, here we go, baby. Dude, this is such an iconic, beautiful approach. We have the uh, the runway right there is what we're aiming for, but uh, things, things definitely don't feel right. What do we have going on here? Oh, goodness. Okay, and I, I can't I can't control the flaps at all. I can't, you know, I, I can't do anything. I can't set anything. We're, we're screwed. We have one flap that's pretty much all the way down. The right flap is pretty much at neutral. Oh, this is this is really not good, huh? So we're we're gonna be constantly fighting this thing, trying to keep it going in a straight line. Obviously, have to manage our airspeed here. We don't want to be going too fast. Oh, this this is gonna be interesting. This this is about the worst case scenario. What's what's going on? We've got some some beeping happening. I thought this was going to be a red light, but it's not. It's a display backup. Okay, uh, we're we're just going to try to get this thing down. We just we want to keep the airspeed low because we're not going to be able to adjust them. You know, adjust it with the flaps. We're just going to try to get there. Try to not have too much speed and and try to keep her level. She does not want to go in a straight line, so we're we're just going to try to hang in there. Go ahead and get our uh, our landing gear out, nice and smooth. How are we looking? Ooh, we lost quite a bit of altitude. That's not the worst thing in the world, though. We're going to be okay. I mean, the good news is it's a fairly easy runway to hit. Just, you know, raised up above everything else around us. Kind of an interesting airport. I love this airport, dude. All right, we don't want to lose too much speed, though. We are we are getting close to stall territory. I don't want to go too fast because we can't adjust our... I mean, the, the one, our left flap here is, is slowing us down quite a bit. We're going to be okay. Nice and easy approach here. It's hilarious that they built this this runway up on top of this thing, dude. Just in the, the middle of this this valley amongst all these mountains. And they're like, all right, we'll 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 put the runway on top on the most inconvenient spot we can find. It's convenient for the pilots, but imagine like all the traffic leading up to this thing. Never flown in or out of here, so I'm not sure. Oh, see this. When you're up in the air, it, it feels pretty good. We might stall here. No! Oh! <laughs> That's on me. That's too much yabbering. I was talking to my passengers about, you know, 
Wow, look at this airport up on a mountain. Isn't this so cool? Well, Trev, you should probably think about landing the plane. It honestly, like, it, it feels pretty solid up here. I think mainly just because of the scale of everything. Like, you, you aren't noticing just how much the plane is wiggling until you get down towards the ground. So I'm, I'm just going to let uh, autopilot do the work here. Take us. It's not actually an autopilot. We're just we're just coasting. It, we're, we've got a pretty good pretty good approach here. Let's put our uh, our landing gear down again. I always forget which button it is. Usually not a good thing, not a good sign for a pilot, but we're down and uh, we're we're gonna be okay this time around. To be fair, I do think, I think that last landing, we would have damaged the plane for sure. Like it, it would have it would have been junked. It would have been going to the scrapyard, but I don't think we were gonna die there. I, I think we would have survived that. Let's not stall it again. Dude, this thing, it just, it, I, I can't even, I can't even describe, it just, it, it doesn't feel right. It's, it's fighting me on everything I wanna do. I feel like I've got to have way too much power to be able to get through this. Look, look at the way this thing is, is bouncing all over the place. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Overshot it a little bit. But we are in there. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Go ahead and hit the brakes. Not too shabby. We'll take that. Better better than just falling out of the sky like a rock, huh? We got an A, 1.1 million. We'll take it. Our precision was a little bit off. I'll give them that. Ground roll was good. Still don't know what that is. Landing smoothness. Could have been a little bit smoother, but I'm happy with that. You were aboard the TBM 930 along with several other climbers returning from ascent to Mount Everest. We got a crew with us here. They have survived some of the most inhospitable conditions in the world, but it's not over. For unknown reasons, all electrical systems have failed. This can be a bit of a problem when approaching at one of the world's most dangerous airports. Are we flying? Oh, Paro. I was going to say, are we flying into Lukla? But if we're coming back from Everest, that wouldn't make sense. Okay. Well, electrical failure coming into one of the world's most dangerous airports but we're gonna be okay i mean our, our electronics seem to be working right now we're good to go dude this airplane is sick so what was the view like up there guys you have a good time but it was pretty incredible would love to do that one day i really do want to do the the base camp trek sometime it's like a two-week hike up to, to base camp i don't know if i may, maybe one day do the whole thing a little bit scary. Don't really like the idea of dying, but uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. So we're coming in here. Landing gear is already down. I mean, everything seems to be in order. Where are we going to land is the question. Is this... Is that our target? Okay, so I've, I've restarted this a couple times. Our electronics are not going out. I, I don't know. I mean, this is a little bit older of like a, a mod for the challenges. So maybe it, it's not up to date anymore. We have two readings on everything we've, we've got double we've got this here we've also got this up here we, we i mean we, we've got all the information that we need i think the idea is if, if everything goes out you have no clue how fast you're going you you could you know you could fall out of the air at any time if you end up going too slow so what we're gonna do is i'm just going to uh i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom in a lot so that we can't we can't see anything this is gonna be our view to be able to land now whoo you can see our spot down there. Our landing objective is right here. So we don't know how fast we're going. We don't know if we're approaching too fast. We don't know if we're gonna be going too slow. We're gonna fall out of the sky. You gotta kind of listen to the aircraft and we'll see what we could do. This is definitely a bit off-putting. So how did you guys, you guys enjoyed it? Well, uh, now we're, I, I, we've got like, got like blinders on, like horse blinders, goggles. We're gonna see if we can make this landing. I, I, I mean, I, I have no reference to anything around me. I'm, I'm just, just a guy floating through time and space here. Gonna to try to do our flaps. I'm not even sure if they're working. I feel like we're coming in way, 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 way too fast. Actually, I think we might be pretty good. Coming around this way. Dude, that is a gnarly approach, huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna be a little past it. But as long as we have a smooth touchdown. Oop, oop, little bounce. Okay. All right. Are things still working? Yeah, they're all they're all still working. So, okay, we should probably break. We should probably break. We should probably, you know, call, call it a day. All right, we, we did it. Challenge is a little bit bugged, but made it hard on ourselves anyways. Not too bad.
We got a B. Honestly, not bad. I, we could have gotten an A. A is a million points. A would have been easy. On to the next one. This one I'm excited for. Birds. Sometimes they're pretty a-holes. The new A320 crew on a regular flight to London City Airport can see that for themselves. Unfortunately, you were the captain of this crew. The already difficult approach to this iconic airport in the middle of one of the largest European capitals is quite difficult. Now with a little extra difficulty. So we've got a bird strike coming. We practiced for this. We, we pulled off the Sully and the Hudson a few episodes ago. But this time, we're going to have to actually get it down to the runway. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not very good at flying the big jets. These, these are a lot tougher than the little Cessnas and, and TBMs and things like that. So we're going to see what happens here. Ooh, all right. They're just, they're so large. Oh, something, something's beeping at us. What do we have going on? Our safety master warning. What's going on? Looks like we have, is this an engine out? Where, where do we see our engines? Probably should have paid more attention in, in flight school, but it's it's okay. All right, where where's our, our runway? Welcome to London, Mike. They're not Australian, Trev, but yeah, well welcome welcome to London, isn't it? That's that's London down there, isn't it? We're we're gonna we're gonna drop here. I, I have no idea where we're going. I'm a little stressed out. Let's turn this off. I, it's fine. I got this. Don't worry about it. Overspeed? All right. We're, we're probably going to want to slow this down. I see the airport over there. Okay. Let's, uh, at what speed do we put our landing gear out on this behemoth? Dude, these things are so crazy. I wouldn't mind a series like actually trying to learn what all this stuff does and, and learning to fly these. It, not, not even a series like that. Like that sounds kind of boring. We're way over speed here. But like doing like a legitimate, I mean, this sounds boring too, but doing like a, a cross country flight or something. I might do that on my own time. I don't know if that'd be an interesting video. I'm going to put our our flaps down. Is our landing gear going down as well? Beautiful. Watch that come out. Oh, my goodness, dude. I just, I love airplanes. I wish I knew more about them. I, I, this, they're just so cool. Okay. Is this our target up here? There's some sort of a, uh, there was like a, a point of interest behind us. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be flying into London City Airport here, here soon. When you guys are watching this video, it, it might might actually be that day. I'm not 100% certain, but um, I've never been to London, so so kind of kind of excited about that. Hopefully, we have a, a better a better landing than what we're about to have here. We actually look like we might have nailed the speed. I don't know if I have my reverse thrusters set up, so I'm I'm hoping we're going to be able to do this with just brakes. We'll see. Coming in a little bit low, probably not the best approach angle, but that's that's fine. We're going to be okay. Got our flaps down, flaps up, whatever. I'm not even sure. We're coming in way hot. 100. Way hot. Way hot. We're going to have to land early. 40, 30, 20. Retire. Oh, God. It's break, 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 break. I don't know if I have my reverse thrust. Wow. I mean, I just broke just about every passenger's back on that landing, but... We put her down. I think we had an engine out. It, it, there was there was one side that we had thrust from. The other side, we didn't have a lot. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. These things could run on, on one engine, no problem. I didn't mean to pause it. We got a C. Our landing smoothness was pretty rough. rough. Grow roll was good. Landing precision wasn't good. We can give it one more try. Oh, yeah. It's it's our engine one. Our left engine goes out. You can see it, it loses power there. So we've got uh, an engine out over London. Not exactly what you want, and I think we may have may have just gotten too much speed here, but we're gonna try to land it anyway. I don't know why, but I love watching the landing gear come out so much. Just the, the engineering that goes into these is so sick. Absolutely love it. The good news is we did not have too much speed, but the bad news is we're gonna need a little bit more out of this engine. We've got engine number two. On our right, that's the only thing we're working with. We're a, a bird with a broken wing here, so we're, we're gonna have to make sure that we just give it enough power that we don't fall out of the sky. What is what is this thing here? I'm not sure. I'm excited to see London. I hope I have enough time to be able to see it. Um, it's interesting. We're, we're connecting through London to get back home, and uh, we fly into London City, but then we take off from Gatwick. So we have to like, and there's like a 12 hour layover. So we're, we have the night in London, might go grab some dinner, stay in a hotel, get some sleep. And then you got to go to a different airport than you, you landed at. I've never, never done that before. So it's, it's going to be interesting. 
We are uh, we're falling out of the sky slowly here. But it, hopefully we're we're gonna be able to be able to make it. This thing can fly on one engine, but not well. I mean, we're coasting. We are in the the speed that we want, but we we're we're close. We just as long as we don't stall, we're gonna be okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh oh goodness, dude, this is terrifying. Just hundreds of souls on board here, relying on me to be able to put this thing down. We're okay. We're okay. Just oh 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 full throttle pull back pull back we're going in the water hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you later peace out